Dear students, now we are going to solve an important problem in an analog type 1 Chepisov low pass filter. Design a Chepisov filter with a maximum pass band attenuation of 2.5 dB and omega p is equal to 20 radian per second and stop band attenuation of 30 dB at omega s is equal to 50 radian per second. So here we are going to design a Chepisov type 1 filter for the given specifications. So in the solution part, first we have to write the given data that is alpha p is equal to 2.5 dB, alpha s is equal to 30 dB, omega p is equal to 20 radian per second, omega s is equal to 50 radian per second. So next we are going to design the Chepisov type 1 low pass filter step by step procedure. The design steps of this Chepisov filter we have already discussed in the previous lecture video. You can refer that video for the design steps. Okay. The first step in the design procedure is to find the order of the filter. So here order of the filter is represented as capital N. It should be greater than or equal to hyperbolic cosine inverse that is cos h inverse is nothing but hyperbolic cosine inverse of lambda by epsilon divided by cos h inverse of omega s by omega p. First we have to find out the values of lambda and epsilon and then substitute those values in this formula to get the order of the filter. Lambda is equal to square root of 10 power 0.1 alpha s minus 1. So here we have to substitute the value of alpha s here. So square root of 10 power 0.1 alpha s is 30 minus 1. So here 10 power 3 minus 1 is nothing but 999. So square root of 999 is equal to 31.60. So that is the value of lambda. Similarly we can get the value of epsilon. So epsilon is equal to square root of 10 power 0.1 alpha p minus 1. That is equal to 10 power 0.1 multiplied with alpha p value is 2.5 minus 1. So we can get the value as square root of 0.778 that is 0.882. Okay. So after finding out the values of lambda and epsilon, we have to substitute those values in this order of the filter formula. N is greater than or equal to cos H inverse of 31.6 divided by 0.882 the whole divided by cos h inverse of 50 divided by 20 that is omega s divided by omega p. Here we can further simplify this as cos h inverse of 35.91 the whole divided by cos h inverse of 2.5 okay. We can use calculator to find out the values of cos h inverse. So here we have to set that mode as radian mode for that press this mode and select that radian here radian value is 2 okay rad so we can press 2 here then the mode is set as radian mode that is r okay so next we are going to find out the value of hyperbolic cosine term for that we can press this hyp that is hyp means hyperbolic and simply press cos you can see cos h term but we want to have cos h inverse for that we have to press this HYP and press shift and then cos. You can see cos H inverse and then type the values that is 35.91. Okay and press equal sign you can see the value as 4.2739. Three nine six. Okay, 4.27396. We can stop with this third bit. Okay, so third decimal. So we can round it of this value as 4. So 4.274. Okay, so similarly we can find out the value for this denominator that is cos h inverse of 2.5. So for that we have to press this hyp and press shift and then cos. You can see cos h inverse and then type the value that is 2.5 that is equal to you can see that value is 1.567 we have to round off that third value okay so here it is 1.567 so take the ratio of these two values that is what 4.2739 4.2739 
फोर पॉइंट टू सेवन फोर डिवाइडेड बाई वन पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स सेवन दैट इज इक्वल टू टू पॉइंट सेवन टू सेवन वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई दैट इज टू पॉइंट सेवन थ्री ओके Now we have obtained the order of the filter capital N is greater than or equal to two point seven three. So the second step is to round off the order capital N to the next higher integer. So here N is greater than or equal to two point seven three. So next higher integer is three. So here N is equal to three. The given piece of filter is third order filter. The third step is to find the values of A and B. A and B are the minor and major axis values of the ellipse. Okay, so it is mainly used to represent the pole locations of the piece of filter. So here we have to first find out the value of mu. Then only we can find out A and B values. So mu is equal to epsilon power minus one plus square root of one plus epsilon power minus two. So here substitute that value of this epsilon. So here epsilon value is point eight eight two. So point eight eight two the whole power minus one plus square root of one plus point eight eight two the whole power minus two. Then we can get the value as mu is equal to two point six five. After getting the value of mu, we have to find out the values of a and b using the formula. So here a is equal to omega p of Mu power one by capital N minus mu power minus one by n divided by two. Then we can substitute that value of mu omega p and n values in this formula. Then we can get the value like this. That is twenty into two point six five the whole power one by three minus two point six five the whole power minus one by three the whole divided by two. Then we can simplify this, and we can get that answer as six point six one. That is the value of y. The same way we can find out the value of b. So here the formula is b is equal to omega p into mu power one by n plus mu power minus one by n divided by two. So here in this a it is minus. Here in this b it is plus. That is the only difference. Okay. So next we have to substitute those values and find out the answer as b is equal to twenty one point zero seven. Next, the fourth step is to calculate the pole locations of the Chepisa filter. So we have already found the values of A and B, correct? So now we are going to find out the phi k value for cos and sine. Okay? So here the formula for this pole location is S k is equal to A cos phi k plus J B sine phi k. Here the k value varies from one to capital N. That is the order of the filter. Here phi k is represented as pi by two plus two k minus one divided by two n into pi. This is the formula. So first we are going to find out the values for this phi k. Then we can substitute this phi k value in this pole formula. Okay. So here n value is three. So we are going to find out the pole locations for these three points. That is k is equal to one, k is equal to two, k is equal to three. So for the first one. Phi one that is equal to pi by two plus two into one is two minus one by six into pi that is equal to pi by two plus here it is pi by six we can simplify this as four pi by six then we can obtain the value like this this is two by three correct so here we can get phi one is equal to two by by three next we are going to obtain Phi two value. So here k is equal to two. So phi two is equal to pi by two plus two into two is four. Four minus one by six into pi. That is equal to pi by two plus three by by six. Then we can get the answer as six by by six. So finally pi two value is pi. Okay. So phi two is equal to pi. Then phi three is equal to pi by two plus six. Two into three is six. So six minus one divided by six into pi. That is equal to pi by two plus pi by by six is equal to eight by six. That is nothing but four pi by three. Okay, so we have found the values of phi one, phi two, and phi three. We are going to substitute those values in this pole formula. So first, for k is equal to one, the pole location is s one is equal to. We have already 
found the value of uh, a as well as b in the third step right so we have to substitute those values here so it is 6.61 cos 51 plus j b value is 21.07 phi sin 51 okay then we have to substitute the value of this 51 we have just now calculated that value as 2 pi by 3 right so substitute that value over here so cos 2 pi by 3 plus j 21.07 sin 2 by by 3 so next we have to find out the values of this cos 2 by by 3 and sin 2 by by 3 using the calculator then we can get the answer like this so s1 is equal to minus 3.3 plus j 18.24 similarly we can find out the pole locations for k is equal to 2 and k is equal to 3 so here k is equal to 2 means the pole location s2 is equal to 6.61 cos phi 2 plus j 21.07 sin phi 2 so next substitute the value of this phi 2 here so that is nothing but pi cos pi value is minus 1 sin pi value is 0 so finally we can get s2 is equal to minus 6.61 then k is equal to 3 for that s3 is equal to 6.61 cos phi 3 plus j 21.07 sin phi 3 substitute the value of this phi 3 phi 3 is nothing but 4 pi pi 3 and the values of cos 4 pi pi 3 is minus 0 0.5 sin 4 pi pi 3 value is minus 0. 866 so finally we can get the third pole location as minus 3.3 minus j 18.24 okay so we have found the pole locations for all the three values so the next step is to find the denominator polynomial of the transfer function so here we have three pole locations so based on this three pole locations we are going to derive the denominator polynomial okay the pole values represent the root of the denominator polynomial. So here this pole value is having only the real part that is minus 6.61. This can be written as S plus 6.61 and these two values are conjugate to each other that is A plus B, A minus B. So we can write it as A squared minus B squared. The real term is combined with that S value. So here it is minus 3.3 we can write it as s plus 3.3 the whole square minus the b term is j 18.24 the whole square. Then this is in the formula of a plus b the whole square so we can write it as a square plus b square plus 2ab. So here it is s square plus 3.3 square is nothing but 10.89 plus 2 into ab that is 6.6 .6, yes minus j squared 332.33 okay so as we know that my j squared is nothing but minus 1 so we can write it as minus into minus plus okay so in the next step we can write the value like this that is s plus 6.61 and then s squared plus 6.6s plus 10.89 plus 332.33 we can add these two values together then we can get the denominator polynomial d of s is equal to s plus 6.61 multiplied with s squared plus 6.6s plus 343.22. So this is the denominator polynomial of the transfer function. The next step is to find the numerator polynomial of the transfer function that is n of s. So here this numerator polynomial depends on the order of the filter. Here the order of the filter is a odd number that is 3. For that odd number the numerator polynomial can be obtained by substituting s is equal to 0 in the denominator polynomial. So we have already found the value of this denominator polynomial in the fifth step. So we are going to write the denominator polynomial as such and then we are going to substitute that value of s is equal to 0. Then we can get the value as 6.61 multiplied with 343.22 because this s becomes 0 this s becomes 0 this term becomes 0 okay finally the numerator polynomial is equal to 2268.68 so the last step in this design method is to obtain the transfer function of an analog type 1 chepisov filter 
by taking the ratio of the numerator polynomial to the denominator polynomial. So, h of s is equal to the value of numerator polynomial is 2268.68 and the denominator polynomial from the fifth step is s plus 6.61, s squared plus 6.6s .6 plus 343.22. So, this is the transfer function of an analog type 1 chepisa filter for the given specification. This is the answer.